Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne again, taking another look at Minecraft. Um, I am joined once again by... Jax. Who are you? Jax O'Byrne. Who are you? You don't know who you are? They can't hear you shrugging on the microphone. Uh, Jax is my son. Jax is currently in what grade? Second. Second grade. Um, <clears throat> and you're the resident Minecraft expert. Uh, why do you like Minecraft? Because... It can show you, like, like you get to make stuff instead of coding. Coding is a little bit harder, but Minecraft is a little bit like pixel art, but not really because you're just placing blocks and, like, building houses and stuff. And, like, survival, you have to survive. Like, no matter what, you have to survive or else something will kill you. That's very deep. Um, you've been talking a lot about coding and how Minecraft is like and not like coding. Um, and we'll talk more about that later because I'm interested in, in what you said. Um, how'd you learn how to do all this? The first time I got this, I was like, oh, why don't I play Minecraft? And then once they started playing, I was like, how do I do this? And then I got more more and better and better and better at it and now i am an expert at it oh an expert now not really a pro at it just an expert because usually i build like a a pizzeria a restaurant a hotel a house or anything like that i can build like whatever i want to like of, like I said, a home, house, restaurant, hotel, anything. But there's some. So, how'd you learn how to do this? Like, did someone teach you? Did I teach you? Did a teacher teach you? No, I just. It just teached myself. You taught yourself. Okay. Um, so, in the first video, we looked at getting it set up and looked at the settings. Um, we didn't talk about installing it, which we'll probably do a video later. Um, and we talked about creating an avatar. I can see you've already changed the avatar. So this video I wanted to take a little bit of time and show people how to build. So go ahead and click on play and go to a place that you haven't gone to yet so people can see like how you get around and stuff like that. Mostly. I don't know. You can do blocks of grass, that's fine. Like, this is the only one that's creative. So what's the difference between creative and what other types of worlds survival. are there? Survival. So it's creative or survival. What's creative? Creative is like right now, like, you can see like chickens and stuff. Like, let me go towards it. All right. So basically, I'll, I'll Jack's in one hand has the mouse and he's basically looking around all right hold on don't you're going fast here all right so get rid of that first so in one hand he's got the mouse and the other hand he's got the keyboard and he <clears throat> right now he's not touching the keyboard at all he's just looking around with the mouse but then what are you touching on the keyboard like right now i'm touching like the w to go forwards and then, like, if you want to kill something, like one of these animals, then you hit E, and then you So hit E brings up this... S. So E brings up this menu here? Yeah. What is this menu called? It's the main menu, like, it shows you where mostly all of the main things are, like... So what are all those things in all those boxes? Those boxes are like I mean, wait. kind of like chests, but not really like a chest that you keep things in. And then these are portal things, which really I don't know if they can work because usually I make them work, but not really. Like I board a por I build a portal, but why don't you show us how to build like a quick house? Okay. I can build a Minecraft house. Okay. Like a So what's 64 house. mean on that? 64? Yeah, you pull that over and there's a 64 next to it. What does that mean? That means there's 64 blocks. Okay. 
So what are you doing? Just picking out parts for your house? Mm -hmm. These are mostly all of the parts that you need for a villager house. So what are these things on this row here? These all of those? Things are, are those things you already have? No, these are things that show you like once you first uh, pop up, it gives you like stuff that like you need like that you usually need sometimes but not really. Okay, so you're picking up what wood and a door and then what is that blocks? Yeah. And what are you looking for? Right now I'm trying to look for Right now, I need certain types of wood because this is the only wood that you need for a villager house. And Why? like, because you can't make any other villager house, but sometimes you can and sometimes you can't sometimes. Is it just that's what you want your house to look like? Yeah. Or is it, does it have to be that type of wood? It has to be the type of wood. Okay. And then... Usually there's like, like sometimes, sometimes there's like, um, stores in villagers, like place where villagers live, but not all the time because some uh, villager places don't have that stuff. What like, did you just add over there? What was that? Armor, armor stand. stand? This is, could be pretty fancy. Mm -hmm. Alright, so go ahead and start building. Let's see what this looks like. I need to mostly get everything that villagers have. Mostly uh, villagers have enchanted tables. Mm -hmm. well, obviously. It doesn't care whichever bed you like. Usually I um, like, get like pink, purple, Red, yellow, lime, green, lime bed. Like, those are the beds that I like. Okay. And then you just put right there. If there's not enough space, like, not a lot of villagers make schools, so now, right now I'm going to make a school. Alright, so we're making a school? Yeah. Alright. A lot of stuff. Alright, show us, show us how you make this school. So why is that box in your hand now? Because so, if you hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. That shows you mostly everything that you have. So those things are in your hand. So if you push, what was it, E for the menu? Yeah. So push E again so I can see. So all of those things in that bottom row, that's what's in that row mm -hmm. back when you go back all right so hit e again and go back and then there's banners all right so hit e and go back and show us the this fireworks well obviously every school needs fireworks oh well, yeah just solely like four fireworks uh, only four yeah choose whatever fireworks you want okay no one really cares so you're basically just pointing and clicking and it's dropping blocks down. That's wood. Uh-huh. Now, how do you know where to put those? I know, like, how big of a school is, so right now I'm making it really... Well, I know where to put the blocks in a straight line, and then at the ends, you don't need to put anything right there. You just need to put wood right there, because that's where the wood is going to go do you need that type to go up, to go vertical? Uh-huh. Why? That's just the way. Is it a design, or is that what you think it should look like, or is that like a rule? It it should look like that. It doesn't go like, almost like a diamond. No, it doesn't go like that. It just is like... Like what I'm asking is... Like a regular block. It doesn't go like vertical, like... 
Okay. But what I don't know is, that. like, can you stack other things on it, or does it have only certain ones you can stack? You can stack other things on it, but it has to be the same okay. thing. I'll take your word for it. You are the expert. Uh, what was that? Just the block that I dropped out. If you hit Q, then it drops out the block. What did you do there? I hit space double times, but in survival you cannot do that. What does space double time do? It I... lets you get up like high. So like, you're like floating? The sky. Yeah. So what are you pushing now to see yourself? Uh, I'm pushing F, um, F5. Where'd you learn all of these keyboard? Uh, all the buttons? From my cousins. Oh, okay. Well, like... <clears throat> If it's on an Xbox, then you don't really know, like, all the buttons. Alright, so you're basically putting the, the perimeter of the building? Uh-huh. What's in the middle of your school? Uh, mostly, like, it's almost like a science school. And then you just hit... F5 again, and then it shows your whole self. Oh. Why'd you say it's a science school? Because it mostly has, like, the armor stands. It does, like, science, how, like, you, like, it almost is, like, a science room, like, how you make stuff. Mm -hmm. That's why I have a crafting table. Okay. I think I have a crafting table. Yeah. I All right. So go ahead, show table. us how you put the other. Hold on. Right now, I think I can't move. There we go. So you can't. You have to go up. Like you can't go vertical and then move. You have to. I'm also going to have a playground. <laughs> well, let's just get the school done first, because... Can I even... We don't want the video to be... Move? I guess I have to move when I'm on my feet. Can I move? Right now, it's kind of not letting me move. Let's see? I'm hitting W. I'm hitting W. Seriously. Hitting W. And I'm not moving. There we go. Okay, I'm close to the wall right now. And then you just keep on building the rest of the wood at the top. So you just chose to make it out of wood, but if you want to, you can make it out of anything. Yeah. Like, mostly I do, like, what villagers do sometimes. Mm -hmm. And, like, if you're in a villager place, but some places they don't have villagers because it's survival. But some places they do have villagers because it isn't survival. Okay. Now, you keep saying that it's a villager style. Like, is that... <clears throat> what you think it should look like, or is that? It is a villager style. Okay. What are you doing? Just holding, like, my mouse, like. Are you putting, like, a roof on? Yeah. If you add those and then you get rid of them, like, do you lose them? No, I don't really lose them. Like, if it's on creative mode and it says 64, you don't lose them because... 
Like they, you don't have just sixty four. You have like unlimited or. I have a limited. Okay. Like it can mostly. It never like lets you run out. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes, but on survival, it does let you run out because you're surviving and like. There's one house like on my nexus. There's like a survival house that's pretty tall, like then like a villager house. Yeah. It's like tall, like it has like four like layers. No, two like two layers. And now I'm done with the whole roof. All right. So now you have like the structure. Or you missed a uh, spot. So do you get to build stuff like this at school, or no? Would you want to? Yeah. Like, how... like on f- at Sagri Elementary, there's like something called Fun Friday. Like you get to do whatever you want. But sometimes I ask my teacher, Miss Frischcorn, and she's like, "No, she." I show her what Minecraft is, but. She sometimes is a little bit busy on Fun Friday, and I'm like, "Come on, why do I show? Why do I show her something?" All right, no name dropping. All right, so let's see what you got here. So you got a roof. You got what else are you gonna put in here? The floor. Oh. And then I'm gonna add stuff in here. So what things do you need to think about as you're building this school? Sometimes I'm thinking about what I'm building, like what should I do for like all the school rooms and like what should I do for the house when like for the bedroom and I'm like thinking and I'm like after I'm done with something then I get stuff from the um, building menu. And come on, one second. Sometimes it's very hard to do something when you're building. So like I um I'm thinking and then I go to the building menu and then I'm like, oh I need like a banner. Oh I need like this like laser thing or whatever it is. And where do you get those ideas? Like Like why do you say, Oh, I need a banner? Because usually some like houses need banners because it can represent almost like the White House. Oh, obviously. All right, so now you have your floor, you have a roof. Now I think I think I can make like two classrooms because it needs to be equal. Like, hold on. Let me now make the classroom. That goes right there. I might. What was that? A cow. What did you do to the cow? Killed it. That's one way to deal with it. Mm hmm. And then that's the end of it. And then here's the rest. Hold on. I'm just going to leave that part open for now. Okay. So after you're done building the stuff, like, so you build a school or you build a house, then what? Then I usually get a photograph or whatever it is, and I take pictures. Because let me show you something. Oh my god. Alright, go ahead. Um, see there's a camera and a, like, a book. Portfolio. Yeah. Yeah. So that I get a camera and a portfolio or whatever it's portfolio. called. Portfolio. Yeah, I get that, and then I go like outside and I like take pictures. So keep building your classroom. Now it's getting darker. 
Or please <sighs> build your classroom. And plus, this video is getting long. So, so you like building this stuff and then taking pictures of it? Yeah. And why? Because I can put it... Usually it just like does it in like one world. It like saves the pictures and then you get to like delete pictures and like you just get to delete pictures like and you get to save the pictures in like that book. Okay. And then it's there when you go to that book and you're like and then you might be like, maybe this picture is really good. Maybe I like, I want to save it and stuff. But when you're you're playing this with like friends or or you know other people, do you go visit each other's stuff or do you just build? I go visit each other's things because I can see what they're building and they're like why don't you build something and i'm like okay and then i start building something and then like one time with my cousins we were making like like a school like mm -hmm. a big school all together yeah and then hold on and then we were like, um, we were, we were building like the boys bathroom and the girls bathroom. And then we were um, taking turns who was being the teacher. And then it was really fun. How were you taking turns on like, who is the teacher and stuff? Like we would like, um, we we'll, would um, vote who would be the teacher, and then whoever is like whoever, like. So it's you a, would like pretend like role play in the game. Yeah. I might make this classroom a little small, like it already right, is small. <clears throat> so is this sort of like when you play? Like in your room with like action figures or cars, like you play with toys. Is it sort of like that, but you're doing it on in the game in this world? Mm hmm. So now I'm going to change this to a store. Well, I let's guess. keep it as we're, we're going to wrap up the video soon because we're getting late. But so, I mean, in 20 minutes, you made a pretty nice building with windows and stuff like that. Now, what do these things do? Uh, these things are stuff that, uh, like, books, like, you don't get to really pick out a book, it's just pretend. And then a chest. A chest. You hit that, and then a board. It shows, a board is like, uh, hmm, hold on. Now I'm going to finish the outside of the school. We'll just do one side and we'll we'll finish the video and then you can finish the house. What goes on the outside? I'm going to put a board outside. A board. I'll put that right there. The close out. Number one. It's a big board. Really. Hold on, let me see. That's <sighs> locked. That means you can't uh, like write anything. Mm -hmm. When you hit unlock, then you get to write something. Uh, so space, 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 space. So is this like a sign? Yeah, it's a sign. Like I'm gonna write school. And then you hit X, there's a sign. Then when, let's just say, if you're a kid and you're walking in, 
and you're like, oh, this is school or teacher, then you just hit, you just open the door. How'd you open that door? I, you just hit this. Oh, you right click? Yeah, you right click and then you close it, you hit right click and then you go to the classroom that you're that you are in already mm -hmm. and then you just do what the teacher says okay so you just spent like 20 minutes and you built this building that's our school um and you said that you basically taught yourself how to do this mm -hmm. you basically explored and played but then also you learned from like cousins and friends and family and stuff like that Mm -hmm. um, if someone was just starting out, like daddy's just trying to figure out how to do this, what are things I need to know like, or do to get started if I've never done this before? If you are getting started already, then um, it's pretty hard when you first start, but then once you like start doing it, um, even more than it gets easier, 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 and easier. Okay. Um, and so most, for the most part, you just build up buildings and you like building it and you take pictures and then you save the pictures and look at them later. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you'll build up with friends or you'll build something with friends and then sort of role play mm -hmm. in the room. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with that, what we're going to do is uh, Jax is going to keep building and we're going to cut this video off because our goal was to show you how to, build, how to build a simple building and we built a pretty nice, well I should say he built a pretty nice school. Um, so hopefully this helps you out. We took a little bit of a look earlier at how to get Minecraft uh, up and running the settings side. We will do a future video on how to get it installed and up and running. Um, this video we looked at building something. Um, we'll probably do a series of videos on how to build other things and uh, how to get some other pieces up and running here. Um, but hopefully this is something of value to you. Hopefully you appreciate it. Uh, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down or leave us comments behind. What else are people supposed to do when they watch YouTube? What's the etiquette? Like, you have to see what's really interesting because once um, you see it, then you you have to like say something like, oh, I love this video, or like, oh, this is a nice video, or comment, or like anything, like, like it, like, if you are watching YouTube and you look at like this school that like I just built, then is that uh, the proper discourse for YouTube? Mm -hmm. Do you know then, what discourse is? No. Then, um, then you might say like, "Oh, this is pretty neat," or like, "Oh, this is a really nice school." Um, is that what you do to other people's videos? No, not really not that much okay well with this one we're gonna wrap it up now uh thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't already uh leave us comments behind and say as jack said this is a really nice house uh any last words before you kill another animal <laughs> no okay right now i'm making the walkway all right so we're gonna leave the audience behind here and keep playing so thanks for watching and we'll see you and hopefully you have a great day How do you get out of there?